Okay, so here's the steps for, we're making a video for Joe and Colleen to fix their Swiffer to change the battery. Okay, so, so here's the tools I think you need. You need a Phillips head screwdriver, you need a flat tip screwdriver. I have a little tiny screwdriver, you'll see where you need that with the connectors on the battery inside. And I have a needle nose pliers, I can't remember why I used those on the last one. Okay, so anyway, so obviously the first thing you need to do is take away some of the, you know, the accoutrement. So you go ahead and take the handle out. There's a detent here. Push that. And don't turn it on. There we go. Take, that, take the handle off. Get the oop, trash off. Yuck. Get that off of there. All right, and then now you're ready to, there is a, there is a uh, seal along the back, or, or uh, you know, the label or whatever. So all you got to do is, um, you, you know, use a knife or something and just split that. Because you obviously got to take it apart. Okay, so there we are there. Then you go through, you've got one, uh, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight screws you got to remove, all right? And once you've got that, the whole thing you'll see kind of comes loose. And on the far side, there's actually, all the screws are loose, but the far side has a detent. So it's, um, you know, right along here, I don't know, now the correct method there, but somehow kind of, Pop that loose. There we go. And you figure out the best way to do that without breaking it, great. Okay, and then you'll see that there is a couple little um, buttons here, the on off button and then this release button. The release button becomes the more complicated. So when you take this apart, the whole thing is kind of connected there. Um, it'll pop loose, and you got to mess with it later to 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 get it back on. And then it does that. No big deal. All right. There we go. So that's off. Screws out. interesting we have hair in there cool all right so there we go so then here's here's the battery right here and you're going to see that there's a little bit of difference between this battery and the one replacing that's kind of standard stuff uh, and you can see there's the here's the on off switch there that has um, you know when you put it back together we'll talk about that later but you can see that there's a there's a little lever or whatever that has to go against a little button that's um, you know, down there on this little uh, circuit board. Okay, so we've got to pop these wires loose that are connected around the edge of the battery. I want a snack. Right here, I got a snack for And then there's two mounting screws on this plastic uh, battery mount uh, cover, whatever you want to call it. So get those loose. Okay, so those are out. So then what we gotta do is pull the battery out. And this part you gotta be a little careful about. Of course, so why there's so much dirt and hair in there. Hopefully yours isn't like that. I'm not sure if that's you know gonna cause a short or what. But if you got that going in there, I would definitely recommend cleaning that out. Okay, so um, so now what you gotta do is If I remember correctly, so, all right, what I did before on the first one, I don't know that we need to, you basically you got to disconnect these wires, the red and the white, and this is where the, um, 
little screwdriver came in handy. Now I wish I had my glasses. But I actually got in here and just kind of opened up and just kind of the uh, um, connector here just to kind of loosen the spring on it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, just loosen it enough to where that'll come out. There we go. It's one. And then same thing on the You know what I'm trying to do is I've just well you have you obviously don't necessarily have a flat tip or a small screwdriver. All I'm trying to do is open up these little detents enough, you know, to be able to pull that out. All right, so there, there we go. So the battery's out. Now what you have to do is take off this white mount. So the whole old battery pulls out of there. There we go. It's gone. That's the old battery. Okay. So, new battery comes to you like this. It's got a piece of tape wrapped around it. What you got to be careful about, and hopefully we'll see on this one, but what happened on the, the last one I did is you see these little, you've got covers, insulators around the connectors. What they're saying on the instructions is make sure those two don't, you don't want to short out the battery. So you want to make sure that you keep those, um, Separate. Separate, what have you. So, all right. Now it's a. Is this. Oh, I don't want that to happen. Oops. All right. So that's just got to sit there like that. Just. All right. So, uh, this goes back on like so. And if I remember what I did, battery spit in. Like so, so then you have to slip through red, black, going through the top of the mount. Okay, that's that. And then that sits back in deal there. And again, I'm not worrying about connecting anything quite yet because I want to make sure it's all fitting in there nicely. All right, so then now, see you can slip off the black, connect it to the black. And then this is where I need to need those pliers. I use those to pinch that back down tight. Don't want that coming loose. Feels good. Okay, and then the red one. Okay, there we go. The, the last one we did. That was I had to cut that. Okay, that goes in there. Same thing. Pinch back down there which you've already loosened up on the, on the male or the female end of the connector. Tighten it up. That's not tight enough. Why do you see a piece of wood where you're going to make my playhouse? All right, and then I'm just testing it. All right, so we're good. So uh, now, kind of, uh, I think the first thing is. I know, buddy, but let me let me finish this. I'm, I'm trying to do this little uh, video for Colleen and Joe, so let me finish that, and then we can talk about the playhouse, okay? So let me do that. So now I'm remounting the battery. I'm all 
me tightening so I don't break any plastic. You don't have it going sideways. Okay, there we go. And now it's just a matter of I use I use the flat tip. I think here is just to push these wires back into this little, their little mounts on the sides. All right, get that tucked in out of the way. So now these wires just need to get out of the way. Don't have to touch a bunch of metal with them. You don't want the two connectors to touch. So it looks like everything's okay that way. We're all set. Okay, so now the hard part, we're gonna make sure this is showing, is making sure you put this the release button back in your right. So you can see there's a <clears throat> there's a deal here on the side. This just slips in. You got the beveled edge on here. The rounded part goes to the top of the of the deal. That slides in there. And then this this spring needs to just fit inside so that you can see where it now you can once it's in there how it's how it'll work. It'll go once it's not, it's, there we go, I think. Is that got it? Yep. Okay. So that works like that. Then this part, I think release. Yeah. You also have this um, triangle type shape there. So that goes, you know, the, the, the beveled part goes to the back. So the first part, you just, you got these little hooks on the side. Hook that in there at the bottom. So that that's all kind of there. You can see as you push on it, what happens is that that's how the, the, the release goes back. All right, so now comes the fun part. Putting it all back together. So. And basically what has to happen here is all that goes in and then you have to use a flat tip to kind of push this little piece back in here and mess with it. Everything else is already set there. All right, so that's now it's now it's in there. So it's all good. So it's all back together. You've got that little snap in there. There it is. It's all back together. And now screw it all back in. Check to see if the front works. There you go. It's all done. Just like I said, now we just put the screws in. I don't need to videotape that. Just put the screws back in. All right. Have fun. Yeah, and of course, you might need a beer. That's the other tool you might need to make that happen.